Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, today the reminder is going to be a little bit different. I'm here to remind you that you have a tremendous amount of power within you. So why are you tripping? And I mean that. That's a question that we can ask ourselves at times. Why are we tripping? We can get caught up in this world so much that we want to control when and how things happen. But why are we tripping? When you know the true source within, when you are trusting in the evolution of self and the evolution of you on your journey, you don't get caught up in appearances. You don't get caught up in, how can I say it? You don't get caught up in facades because you're working from within. So much so that you value everything that you do, all the time that you invest in different aspects of self. Because you understand that because you are merely giving it attention, that thing now has power because you have transferred your power to it. Now, this can work for us and against us, but going back to the original statement, why we tripping? There's no point in tripping on what the world is doing. That's for the world to figure out. The one focus that we do have while we're here on this plane is ourselves. This is not to say this is not to say that we should go out and say F the world. But it's an understanding that we operate within a power that gives life to anything we give attention to. So working from that premise, why are we tripping? Because if we give our attention to the things that inspire us or make us feel good about our lives or even make us be more appreciative or grateful in the moment of being present in what we're doing or what we're thinking. When we know that we operate from that kind of power and we display that kind of power. There's no point in tripping. It's simply being at peace with one's true self. It's simply understanding that, OK. This thing didn't work out for me at this time, but that doesn't mean it's not working out. It means that it's still coming to fruition. Don't trip. It also means let go. Don't worry about it. Because there are some things that all of us have done in our life that have come sooner than we ever imagined. That's interesting because I just had a moment like that three weeks ago. I did something to tell myself, oh, six months, I'll check up on it. Not even six weeks later, it's already taken care of. I knew it would be figured out. But I was grateful in that moment where I received that information confirming, hey, it's already done for you, man. So once again, this is simply by reminding ourselves of our true power. But most importantly, when we have those moments where we feel ourselves slipping into emotion or getting caught up in reactions, either of ourselves or, or of others. Now, we just got to slow down, take a breath and ask ourselves, man, why are you tripping? Say it however you want to say it. But ask yourself that question with the intention of answering like, man, I'm not tripping. I'm going to let that go. Or I could do this and then it'll be off my mind. See, all these type of ideas and uh revelations that you may have comes from asking that question and simply answering it truthfully. You're having a conversation with yourself, so it ain't no point in attempting to hide nothing. And then move forward. Because most of the time, it's nothing to trip on. I promise you. <laughs> and this is not to say that I don't trip. Now I have my moments. I have my moments. That's okay. That's life. I just want to remind you once again, man, when you feel yourself falling deep into something that you know is not serving you properly, it don't matter if it's within a quick second or within a year or two. Man, ask yourself why you tripping and then think of what you must do or what you must think about or how you must feel in order to not stay in that energy because you can get stuck in it. Man, ain't no point. Keep moving. With that said, I'll leave it here. Until next time, man, be blessed. And most importantly, please don't forget to smile.